Hello and welcome back to Gapy's Garden. As you can see, we just recently wrapped our in-ground fig trees. So we have three in-ground figs and for the past couple of years I've had some pretty bad luck getting them to overwinter without dying back to the ground. And we're in zone 8B, which seems like it would be warm enough, but I'm not going to take any chances this year. So all three of them got wrapped in a frost cloth and a tarp. So the frost cloths we got from Greenhouse Megastore. They're one of my favorite gardening supply stores and I think they're having a Black Friday sale so you may want to check them out and then the tarps we ended up getting at Harbor Freight which has really good deals on tarps. Now we just got this done over the weekend so thought I would show you how we did that. We've already had temperatures down into the mid 20s so it's really a good time to get those wrapped before they dip any lower. So let's take a look and see how we did that. Still a lot of leaves on this tree, so we're going to take these off before we wrap it. This is the Olympian. This is much smaller. This is one I just put in ground in this past spring. So this has not seen a winter in ground yet. And we're gonna do the same thing and wrap it with the frost cloth first and then the tarp. And one thing I forgot to mention is we do have a pretty thick layer of leaf mulch on the bottom of these trees so that should help protect the roots. Here's a look at our wrapped fig. This is the Desert King, our tallest fig. We did replace the bucket on top with a five gallon bucket. So that's a little bigger than the one we had on there before. So I think we are good to go on that one. We may tie it off to the fence because it is a little bit tall and we're afraid the wind may knock it around a little bit. And then we've got our Olympian here with a planter container on top. And this one was very, wiggly. So I did put a few supports here to keep it from falling over in the wind. It was kind of leaning off to that direction so I think that will help. And here's our last one. This is the Laterula and it's got one of those plant containers on top of it as well. I think it's probably around three or four gallons and this one is pretty sturdy. It had quite a few wide branches so I don't think we need to add any supports for that one but we will keep an eye on it when it's pretty windy and see how it fares and we'll add some supports if we need to but I think that one is looking pretty good so we'll unwrap these in the spring and hopefully we won't have any die back like we have the previous years. If you're a fig grower in a colder climate let me know what you do to protect your figs in the winter time. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.